El Paso High School. El Paso High School in Texas is said to be haunted by the ghost of a young girl who took her own life. There is a ghost photograph that, according to the legend, shows a ghost girl appearing in the high school class photo. El Paso High School is one of the oldest buildings in El Paso, Texas and is plagued by a very strange and disturbing urban legend. As the story goes, there is a hallway on the fourth floor of the high school that has been closed off to the public for decades. Reports state that this hallway is covered in mist and fog every single day and this seems to be an unusual, sticky, gooey substance dripping from the ceiling. At the end of the hallway, there is a staircase that leads to a balcony which has also been sealed off. The unusual activity is said to have started after a tragic incident that happened nearly 35 years ago. There was a young girl who was a cheerleader in El Paso High. She was dating a guy on the football team and, when he dumped her, she became distraught and depressed. In a final savage act of desperation, they say she sliced her wrists open and then threw herself off the balcony, plunging to her death. Ever since then, some people claim to have seen the ghostly image of a young girl standing on the balcony, waving to them. Others say they witnessed her ghost jumping from the balcony and disappearing before she hit the ground. The sounds of sobbing have been heard coming from the hallway, even though nobody is there and a few people have spotted a ghostly young girl, crying forlornly in the hallway. The rumors and legends about El Paso High being haunted have persisted for decades. There is a trophy case just inside the original front entrance of the high school. It contains a class photo that was taken in 1985. Everyone in the photo shows up clear and distinct except for the figure of one young lady whose features are fuzzy and blurred. The other kids in the photo claim that there was no girl standing there when the picture was taken and nobody knows the identity of the young girl. About 15 years ago, a few teachers and students were trapped in the school by a snowstorm. Having nothing else to do, they decided to explore the school, starting with the tunnels in the basement. They crawled through a small opening and eventually came to a brick wall that blocked the tunnel. The bricks were old and the cement between them was crumbling. Curious, one of the teachers pushed on the bricks until some of them gave way, revealing a large dark cavity. When they shone a flashlight through the hole, they realized that it was an old classroom that had been sealed off. The unusual discovery surprised everyone. The classroom was very small and contained antique desks, old textbooks and even notebooks containing students' writings. Everything was covered in a thick layer of dust and nobody could explain why the classroom had been suddenly abandoned with everything left in place and why none of the students had returned to take their personal items. One teacher picked up a dusty old notebook that was lying open on a desk. Flipping through it, he realized it was a diary that had belonged to a young girl. She had written pages and pages about her love for one boy in the school. There were little doodles of hearts, flowers and tears throughout. The final page in the notebook contained a chilling suicide note. A few years ago, stayed after school to finish some work. By the time he was getting ready to leave, it was almost 11 p.m. He approached the exit and saw someone standing in the pool of dim red light cast by the exit sign. It was a young lady wearing a blue dress. Thinking it was one of his students, he asked her what she was doing there and told her to go home. The girl turned and looked directly at him, her face bearing an expression of unbelievable sadness. As he walked toward her, he noticed that she was not standing on the floor, but rather hovering in midair. She began to fade away, gliding back into the darkness of the hallway before she disappeared completely. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, 
share and subscribe to my channel.